I've been using DaVinci Resolve for the past 10 years and of that about one year using the studio version. So today I'm going to show you some reasons why you might want to upgrade. Let's say you're working on your new IMAX feature film. Well, you're going to be out of luck because the full version of DaVinci Resolve only goes up to 4K. However, with the studio version, you can export files up to 32K and 120 FPS. For all of your... I can't think why you'd need quality that high, but it's pretty cool that it can do it anyway. Smart masks were originally intended to give you another secondary color grading tool. Whether you wanted to increase the exposure of your subject or desaturate the background. However, I don't really use smart masks for color corrections, I use them for visual effects. Here is a scene consisting entirely of green screen footage, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, what's so difficult about that? Just do a rough garbage mat and then throw a clean plate and a delta key in and you're done. <laughs> I mean, look at this. There's barely even any point having a green screen there at all. So I started manually masking this first shot and I thought this isn't too bad until I realized it had taken me two days of masking and I was only halfway through. I did try using the Runaway ML green screener, but no. <laughs> In the end, I noticed that DaVinci Resolve version 18 had an enhanced smart mask tool, so I thought I'd give that a try. I noticed that whilst the person mode made more sense, there seemed to be a limit on how detailed the mask could be, so I switched over to object mode and wow, the results are amazing. Very few tracking markers were picked up, very little manual masking was required, and the edges looked great and if a little bit of extra green screen was picked up, it could just be easily keyed out. Most of the time, I shoot with a red Komodo. It's the camera I'm shooting with right now. It's the best camera I've ever worked with, and it produces amazingly high quality footage, but not at night. ISO 3200 is a bit noisy, and ISO 6400 is noisier than the fan on an original red one. But Resolve Studio makes it easy to clean up the footage as long as you don't care about real-time playback. There's actually another really good use for DaVinci Resolve's noise reduction. I do quite a bit of CGI animation, and when you render out a shot, one of the settings that has the biggest effect on quality is the samples. More samples means a cleaner image, but it also means more rendering time. So I use Resolve Studio's noise reduction to clean up the image and remove the noise. This means faster render times, and if you're using a render farm, like Grey to Blue Render Farm, you can save money on your renders as well. Slower. 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 Happily, Resolve Studio has options for frame interpolation, and using optical flow, you can slow down your footage even when you've reached the limits of your camera's frame per second. You see how distorted this shot is? Fixed. Also works great for webcam video and GoPro footage. It can even fix telephoto lenses that have pin cushion distortion. In DaVinci Resolve Studio, the neural engine powered facial recognition features are a real time saver. They make it really easy to stalk, I mean, find people in large quantities of footage. You can also use the various face retouching features to smoothen out skin, lighten parts of the face, or even adjust saturation on cheeks and lips. The Neural Engine can also help you remove objects without using lots of nodes in Fusion. Just masking around an object and applying the effect is all you need to remove unwanted people, light switches, or other bits of rubbish. So, should you buy DaVinci Resolve Studio? Well, it's a lot cheaper than Adobe Creative Cloud, and it's the same price as Final Cut Pro, and it gets better and more regular updates. I even got this free speed editor keyboard when I bought version 17. Unfortunately, the deal isn't running anymore, but it's worth keeping an eye out to see what special offers may come up in the future. Resolve Studio also comes free with most Blackmagic cameras. So unless you're doing just basic edits, I think DaVinci Resolve Studio is great value for money and it's definitely worth the 300 pounds. Now, whilst I mentioned the main reasons in the video, there are some other things you might want to consider if you're looking at upgrading to DaVinci Resolve Studio. 
If you want to do anything at all with HDR, then you're definitely going to need the Studio version. And there's also other neural engine AI features as well, different kinds of masking and facial recognition features. If you want to see any more information about the free version versus the studio version, then I recommend having a look at the official Blackmagic Design DaVinci Resolve website, link to which is in the description.